hammerhead and help me up. Uh, you think it's broke? No. Just a sprain. I guess it's all right now. Hey, what are you waiting for, you boy? Get out the slate! Now. Take this over to the courthouse to the county commissioner, Hart. Red, you you ain't resigning. Yes, and I've left instruction to have you sworn in right away. But I don't want to be sheriff. You can't. Now be. listen, I don't want to argue anymore. Great. Busy. Great. What's this I've been hearing? You let Silent Slade get away. Yeah, I heard what they're saying. I just sent in my resignation. What? Oh, Red, you ain't going to let those loud-mouthed galoots get away with that, are you? Say, will you mind delivering that letter, Harp? Oh, sure. What do you got to say? Nothing, I guess. You've heard it all. Red, you're ruined unless you do something. This story will go everywhere. Sheriff's bunkie sentenced to be hanged, turned loose by the sheriff. How oh, that look to the folks. Oh, I've thought it all out, Sophie. You gave him your horse, your saddle, and his gun. Yes, and a hundred bucks. What? Well, he... He had to eat, didn't he? You're a heck of a sheriff. Yes, I... I guess I am. But that's better than being a murderer. And that's what I would have been if I'd have hanged him. Well, the prosecuting attorney will sure raise the roof oh, when he hears I about you as Because I bet him a hundred dollars yesterday that you'd never hang Silent Slade. Uh -huh. Well, I guess I'll go over and collect. I want to see the cell from which the prisoner escaped. Back there. Rather queer, isn't it? Slade is a much bigger man than I am. I couldn't even get through that opening. What do you mean? May I ask what you intend to do about it? Yes. That's your privilege. Resign. Son, come here. Oh, give me a big kiss, will you, boy? Oh, it's great to see you. Oh, gee, I hope I'm not dreaming, kid. Liquid that runs under bridges. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, by the way, who owns that white horse out there with the silver mounted saddle on? Oh, uh, he belongs to Joe Portis over there. 
What do you do? Uh, he won him in a poker game. Three beautiful ladies. Are you quitting or just broke? No, I'm not quitting and I'm not broke. At the heat rack out there, there's a horse and saddle worth $150. We play for it. 150 bucks is a lot of jack for a bronc. I'm 200 in you, so I guess I can afford to take a look at him. Seems to be my lucky day. I guess I'll cash a few of them in. Saddle looks all right. Don't think much of the nag, though. Look, he's mean, too. He'll bite you anytime. He's gentle. How much was that? $150. Sold. Gracias, senor. Don't worry. Forced to make a little bet. I haven't got enough money to call all that. You still have the horse, sadly. Well, all right. A little full. Read him and weep. Santa Maria, straight flush. Buy a little drink. You stay here long, stranger? Oh, I don't know. Nice day. See you later. Drinks on the house. Thanks for the good time, fellas. See you all later. That man has a very insulting tongue. Howdy, fella. Can you tell me where the Rancho Del Rosa is? Oh, Bob Maxwell's place. Straight down the road. You can't miss it. They're holding a fiesta there now. Fiesta? Guess I better stay in town for a while then. It'll be over by the time you get there. Been here long? No, just got in. Name's Red Davison. Mine's Campbell. Sheriff down here. Glad to meet you. Say, did you know a fella down here by the name of Scotty McKee? Sure. Used to run the cantino over there. Sold out. Don't know where he went from here. Speaking of cantinas, just want a nice gray horse from over there. Joe Porter's horse, from Gomez Springs across the border. Gomez Springs? What kind of a place is that? Pretty bad, and a tough bunch. Oh. So long. Hi, son. <laughs> hey, don't you get on that horse. Is your memory getting a little short, or don't you remember losing? Don't you get on that horse. Ah, uh, don't be foolish. So? What's the trouble here? Any of you fellas want to tell the world I didn't win that horse and saddle? You won it, stranger. Joe's just a little excited. That's all right. I saw Joe reach for his gun. The horse is yours. Thanks, Sheriff.
Marshal. Before we leave, we want to thank you for a very enjoyable time. Goodbye. Sorry, ma'am. I was uh, taken up with a place I plumb forgot there's anybody lived here. Habla Espanol? Well, uh, you see, I... I just rode in here a minute ago and... and well, not today. Maybe I'd better speak English. Oh, that's better, miss. That's my own language. I'm Red Davis. I'm looking for a fellow named Maxwell. That's my father. I'm Mary Maxwell. Oh, I'm mighty glad to know you, miss. Beautiful place you have around here. I love it. Oh, Father, this is Mr. Davidson. Glad to know you, sir. Glad to know you, Mr. Maxwell. Kind of rode in on you sudden-like, uh, looking for a job. What kind of a job? Well, about the only thing I can do is punch cows. Oh, yes. Well, I'm sorry, Davidson, but just at present, I'm full up. Oh, that's tough. Well, anyway, thanks. Oh, on the way out from Sycamore, about a mile this side of town, I found a dead man on the road. Uh... A dead man? Yeah, somebody must have taken a shot at him. Did a good job, too. What does he look like? Oh, he's about my size. Had sort of brown hair. If I can remember right, I think he had a scar on his cheek. Dale Harper. I'll get some of the boys and bring him in. Oh, I'm right sorry, miss, if he was somebody you cared for. He was our foreman. Been with you long? Oh, yes, he's been with Father a long time. I didn't know him very well, though. You see, I've been away to school most of the time. Been home less than a year. Just make yourself comfortable until Father comes back. Thank you, I will. You know, son, I think I'm going to like this country. Oh, the rat hat, he is there. Good, we will wait for him. Slicker? Well, is your father home? I'm sorry, but he just left with the boy. Oh, well, I'm rather glad. It's so much nicer talking to you. I'm afraid we haven't much to talk about. Please let me go. I don't very often get a chance like this. I said I wanted to talk to you, and that's what I'm going to do. Better leave that lady alone. Who are you? Well, I'm the whipper will that's going to make you behave yourself. Now, what is this affair to you? You start something, you'll find out. Good day.
Thank you. Oh, that's all right, ma'am. He's not exactly a friend of the family, is he? He is an old friend of my father's. His name is Jim Breen. Breen? How does he spell it? B-R-E-E-N. Breen. Did you know the other fellow was with him? No, I've never seen him before. Oh. Marijuana. Funny what some folks think's good for a minute. Instead of being funny, it's pretty serious when you think of the harm it does. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think I'll gallop down the road and see how your father's getting along. You're not afraid to stay alone, are you? No, indeed. All right, son. Forget he shoot quick. You fool, you warn him. Come on. 